Now, we are obviously super excited about your show, Queens, um, but there was actually an episode similar to the show, MTV Cribs, that we did back in the day. And there was even a clip that resurfaced where you discussed how we had to fake it to make it. Um, do you think that still holds true for artists today? Honestly, yes. The, the problem is we're always comparing ourselves to yes. other people, not just artists. I think that holds true for a lot of the younger generation who are obsessed mm -hmm. with social media. Um, but back when we did Cribs, I feel like that was like 2000 or something, mm -hmm. 2001. <laughs> We had to, you know, make it look like we were rich and famous mm -hmm. with the cars and the house. And we were like in a two bedroom apartment sharing a bed, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Yes, um, just you were I. In, in LA at Archstone Apartments. But yeah. it's interesting. I just wanted to let people know you don't have to live up to what you see the standard is. Your standard mm -hmm. is your standard and do your Preach. best. And I think that's what's important. Don't fake it till you make it. Just make it when you make it. And right. you know what? You've been making it because you've been killing it on screen. That's right. We love <laughs> you as Tasha St. Patrick in the original series Power. And you even made appearances on Power uh, Book to Ghost. Now, before your character, it was sent to witness protection. Ooh. The fans and I have been asking, <laughs> where's Tasha? Is she coming out of hiding soon? Let me know. Child, they are on me. Like, if I post something on Instagram, they'd be like, yep. why are you over here dancing when your son, Tariq, is yes, serving I life see in prison? That. Okay. Your daughter is so mad. Take it seriously. Yes. <laughs> they like, come it's get crazy. your kids. <laughs> That's all that they see. And it's, it's actually an honor because that means I did my job. That yes. Natasha character is so iconic that they won't let yes. me go. But yeah. um, I think Tasha is, you know, she'll be coming around the bend very soon. Just Ooh. keep watching. The finale okay. is coming on uh, this Sunday. So, Lonnie, I got you. Just just yes. know that Tasha's still alive, so she can come back at any time. I anytime. love it. Okay. We love that. Yes. Can we please talk about Queens? Yes. yes. Of course. Such a good yes. show. Uh, you so just good. wrapped the first season of your hit ABC <laughs> show, Queens. Tell us about your character, Jill the Thrill. Oh, my gosh. I have so much fun playing Jill the Thrill. First off, I get to, I get to rap, which is, you know, I did a little bit of that, obviously, as Little Kim and Notorious. Yeah. But this is like about a 90s girl group. I've been in a girl group. Mm. I, I love working with Eve, Brandy, Nadine. Uh, it's a lot of work. I will say it's a hard show to shoot. But when you see, I feel so rewarded because we're tackling real issues about women in the business, women yeah. being taken advantage of. I've lived a lot of these issues. Mm -hmm. So for me, doing Jill the Thrill... She is a gay, you know, rapping church lady. It's not anything close to anything I've ever done. So I was, I was excited to play such a unique role. Yeah, and that like you so just cool. said, of your castmates, you're the only one that's actually ever been in a real girl group. How much of your own experience did you bring to this role? Hmm. Well, since you were in that group <laughs> with me, mm, you know, last. the struggle was real. And as, if you're watching Queens, you kind of can see a lot of that world, especially in the 90s, 2000s. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a lot of things that weren't monitored the way they are now. There was no social media. There was no Me Too movement right. uh, like there is now. And I think there was a lot of pressure to, you know, be a certain way. I think what Queens is showing, these women coming back after they're in their, you know, late 30s, mm -hmm. early 40s, and they're saying, you know what? I can still live my dreams. It's never too late for me. I love that. And my experience in 3LW definitely, you know, had some challenging times, but I've used that experience to motivate other young women that mm -hmm. everything I went through, being feeling unpretty, feeling like I was not good enough, constantly helps inform my decisions as the character Jill the Thrill. She is more than enough and she's amazing. And so Bravo. Am I.